Welcome back to another fabulous episode of Undress with Paul and Patrick. And little Snow White 90210. Hey, bitches. Hello, undressed bitches. Oh, my God. We're, first of all, Snow White's kind of like conked out, but that's okay. I'm excited because we've got a friend, another friend in the studio today. And Paul at Two Beverly Hills, and he's never been here before. You. He's will, a virgin. Oh, you're a Paul Two Virgin. Uh, you will know him from No Filter with Zach Peter. It's Zach Peter in himself. the house. Woo! Hey, bitches. Is that, what, is that how we write? Hey, bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bitches. <laughs> we, we We're, all We're all okay. bitches. Yeah. We're all bitches. I mean, I'm a bitch, so. I mean, it takes a good one to know another. Exactly. Are you a bitch? Though? I'm a real bitch. Yeah. You are. I'm a real bitch. Wow. Gee, I want to see that side of you. You've never shown <laughs> us that side of you. But I'm also a nice bitch. Like, I have a sweet side, and then I also have my cunty bitch side. Ooh. And, and so cunty, Erica J. <laughs> and when your cunty bitch side comes out, like, how bitch How would we you? know? Or what, what takes you there? Give me a martini or two. Oh. And that, listen, I've I've had my moments. Okay. Oh my God, I love that side and when of I go, you. I go hard. <laughs> oh, I love listen, it hard. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> mm, my God. I don't. I like a gentle. Zach, how did you get started? gentle and a little limp? How did you get started in this business of podcast world? Um, I was doing stand up and I was doing a little bit of YouTube stuff. Okay. And uh, eight years ago, before podcasting was even a thing, there was this. Uh, studio called the network studios they were just starting to build up their talent and just starting to like make podcasting a thing yep and i remember i came in and i took a meeting with them and they were like we want to bring in more like comedian stand-up talent but we want you to do a podcast and i was like i'm an on-camera talent i don't talk I don't to a microphone. Talk. and they're like just There's give it a the try bitchy side. <laughs> they're like just give it a try okay. see how you like it yep. and i was like okay fuck it let's do it so i did it for a year i said i'll do it for a year and i and you were living where at the time? I was living out in West Covina. I was in L.A., but I was living with my grandparents at the time. This was, yeah, eight years ago. I was 20, 21. Is that where you're from, West Covina? No, um, from L.A. I was uh, okay. from around downtown and then lived with my grandparents for a while and then ended up, now I, I live back in downtown. Got it. Um, but so, yeah, I just figured I would give it a try. Wasn't very great at it at first. Didn't really love the, you know, just kind of talking into a microphone. But, like, at that point, like, nobody, like, now you can go on and you have, like, all these, like, free softwares and you have equipment on Amazon. And, yeah. like, you can do anything and everybody knows how to do a podcast. Then nobody knows. But do they do it well? I mean, they're, 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 they're not doing it well. They're not doing it well. They're not necessarily there are a lot of <laughs> Listen, there are a lot of low-budget podcasts. Um <laughs> But, you know, but at that point, there was, like, no rule book. Like, nobody knew what they were doing. Like, right. even uh, um, Joe Rogan was starting. He, we started out of the same studio. What year even was he, that? This was 2015. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. 2013, Paul and I did a show. We didn't even know it was a podcast back then. It was called After Buzz TV. Oh, remember. yes. I used to do hosting and After Buzz. we hosted the Redneck Island After Show in oh 2013. God. With Maria Menounia. And yeah. we didn't even realize that we were doing a podcast back yeah. then. Yeah. Somebody was like sending me all these video clips on YouTube saying, oh, you guys have been doing podcasting since before podcasts exist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at that <laughs> point, I don't even think that was considered podcasting because no. they were like streaming it on YouTube. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, and so, again, nobody knew what they were doing at that time. I mean, yeah. I feel like a lot of people still don't know what they're doing now. But uh, but yeah, so I kind of I just started it. And I mean, I would say it was terrible and bombed for like the first three, four years. And then eventually I found my footing and, you know, was able to kind of turn it into a full career. And now it's we have the podcast, the YouTube, the merch line, the wine line. We do live shows across the country. So it's really it's really grown. What um, how many episodes do you do a week? We just upped it. So now I do five episodes a week. Wow. We were daily. That's we a lot. stream live first thing in the morning. Um, it is a lot. <laughs> do you always have guests or no? <laughs> no. A lot okay. of the time it's solo. Um, but I mean, it, it, I like Why does he want to give up camera time to somebody <laughs> Thank else? you. He's comes beautiful. The side. <laughs> I mean, uh, who could sit next uh, to him? So you. when you do it every day? Every day you film? Oh, yeah. We... We do Monday through Thursday, okay. and then Fridays are like bonus members only episodes where we get a little more unfiltered, Got it. a little no filter after dark action. So you do the Patreon? Yeah, thing? it's like okay. a Patreon. Okay. Got it. And so it became, before that, you, you didn't really know you were doing a podcast, and suddenly yeah. you're doing it. So then tell me, 
how do you get your footing and realize this is the type of show I want to do and this is the format I want to do. Lots of trial and error. Yeah. Um, I was always very specific about keeping the episodes to 30 minutes, which I know is a really tight crunch. You can never fucking do that. I know. It's a challenge, <laughs> but that's why I was like, I want to be up for the is challenge that why to you get talk everything. So fast? Probably. Oh my God, because oh. you have to get all this information. Probably. Now? People are like, you're like Gilmore Girls. You talk so damn fast. I'm like, well. Are your episodes you know? 30 minutes max? No, right no. now there are like 30 to 45 ish. Oh. I rarely go over an hour. And why um, do you want to keep them at 30, 35? Because I feel like it, it forces me to get to the meat. There's no lull okay. time. There's no drag time. There's no, you know. Oh, so you're not like him where he just talks <laughs> for five hours. My husband's a bench. <laughs> well, see, especially when cunty. sometimes I am. Sometimes. sometimes when you have guests on, like, they just like to hear themselves talk. And I'm like, get to the point. But then you Give can me edit a sound it out, bite. no? I don't want to edit oh it out. Oh, my God. It's so much, so much work. work. It's so much extra work. Why? You know what? The Why? pods go anywhere from I'm about to sit next to you right now because <laughs> I'm on your side. Shut up, bitch. Our, our pods go between an hour to an hour and 15, sometimes an hour and 20 max. Yeah. And I've had a lot of people have sent me messages saying that they like that our podcasts go over an hour sometimes. Yeah. Because they like to listen to it when they're like jogging or on the treadmill. Yeah. And it helps. It forces them, them to have yeah, to go to a little longer. longer. <laughs> I like to I like to cover the nipple. I like to leave a little. I like you wanting more. Got it, got it. Oh, we give him the whole Monte. <laughs> but you also pro. do it. But you also do it five days a week. Yeah, it's so, a lot. And you release it at a certain time every day, or how does we it? stream live at eight thirty a.m. So oh. I I'm up at four thirty. Oh. Take the dogs out Hair to go party. I have, I have two eight-month-old puppies, two big puppies. Yeah. Um. So we go out. We do the whole puppy thing. I come back. I work out at six. Uh, I prep for the show. Then I work out at six. I come back. I shower, and then boom, we're right into streaming. And it's either you're by yourself or you'll bring a guest on sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Um. And then you are hot topics, right? You do the hot, hot topics, topics pretty much. latest news. You know, whatever everybody's gossiping about is what we're covering. So what are we gossiping about today? Yeah. The Britney book. Oh. <laughs> she. She has uncovered a lot of information. What do you think about the Britney? I book? mean, the fact that she had a miss. So abortion? Abortion, I know. What? So juicy. With Justin Timberlake. What? I was didn't shocked. Even know. I and think Justin he knew, right? didn't want she the baby. He didn't want the baby. I think he wow. wanted the baby. He just didn't want it with her. Probably. <laughs> but I'm also like, but like you have to realize, and you guys know this being in the industry, that it's like they don't make decisions for themselves. They have managers and publicists and agents and parents. Like, you know, they were teenagers. Could you imagine if Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake, who are preaching virginity, came out and said, hey, we're having a baby? Well, they yeah. said that they weren't even having sex. Scand I That's know. what I mean. Scand Remember her sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, when she got pregnant, oh, that yeah. was Scandival 1.0. Way before. You know, way before. Yep. Way before he ever made it inside Raquel. Um, that it was just, it would have been such a shit show what, and they would have never had the career. Britney now? Is she not just a mess? I, I feel no, like, she was I doing mean, the knives because of Shakira. I, I, she's a mess. No. <laughs> I mean, listen, let her, let her have her, her Freddy Krueger moment. She's living her best <laughs> life on Instagram. Um, the stripper pole I'm a little worried about because it looks like it's about to pull oh over at any point. It's going like, to collapse. Well, it looks like my I'm stripper. Like she's going to break a hip. <laughs> it looks like my stripper pole a little because I've gained a couple of ounces. So it's like, ah, <laughs> leaning to the left. It's hanging on. It's got a little curve but in it. But do you feel like, um, I don't know, do you think that because of the pressures of the business and all of this, she just went like cuckoo crazy? Or no, she just she... wants to have fun. She I doesn't know. know how no, to have fun. No, I think fun. she went a little cuckoo crazy. And I think it's okay to say that because it's like we have to realize, I think she was like mentally and emotionally like stunted. Yeah. Like she wasn't able to fully develop because at some point she had to give her, when she was a teen star, and I feel like that's always very challenging. She was yeah. a Disney star. A Disney star. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Yeah. I'm having an abortion at 17. Yeah, exactly. And then eventually wow. she gets put under this conservatorship and she has no control over her life. And when you stop having control over your life, like eventually you kind of stay stuck there. So I think she's kind of still in that like, you know, teenage girl phase where she doesn't really know how to go beyond that. And so the only way she knows how to have fun is to dance with knives. I would do I the know. same have thing. Have you met Brittany? No. So we've met Brittany. And she's a sweetheart. She was a bitch. She's what do you mean she's a sweetheart? She was the biggest bitch when we met but her. But she wasn't to me. Uh, she was such Why a bitch. Why was she such a bitch? She loves me. She was so wacko, wasted. She was with the... Uh, out of it. 
now X. Um, yeah. Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, not we were back in the green room with her because it was a fashion show. There was only show six of us mm. at the was it the Beverly Hilton Hotel, Beverly Hilton Hotel, and she didn't like Snow White. No, mm. she, it wasn't. She didn't like Snow White. She didn't like that Snow White was getting all the attention and no yeah. one gave a shit about her. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And then do you know Sham? Sham Ibrahim, he's the pop art artist. Shamala, he painted us there that ah. picture. Oh. Yeah. So he um, he's on season. Two, I think, season three. One of our three of our show, Gown, Gowning Out in Beverly Hills, Prime Video, four seasons. Um, he was on season three, or now he is she, because now she dresses, he wears dresses. Does that make him a she? He's an LGBTQ plus plus friend. Yes. Got it. Sham, Shamala. Anyway, he painted Brittany and brought it backstage to her. And she was so, at the green room. We were yeah. sitting. We got him in. She looks, pulls the picture. She goes, what do you want me to do with this? And throws it down. She was such she cried. a bitch. Sham started crying. Oh, she no. just literally cried. Like it broke his, her spirit because he painted her. And it was I so mean, beautiful. He's been a fan forever. Ever. And this was something that he wanted to kind of do. For yeah. her. And poured his heart out she to was it. So mean. And she just did not accept it. And she it. just got the knife and chopped so him up. So mean. Pretty and then much he takes the phone him out. Stabbed him in the heart. Remember you took the phone out? Uh huh. Remember what she said? What'd she say? You don't remember? No. What did she no say? No photos. I don't want any photos. He's like, we're not taking photos. We're going to take the selfies of us together. <laughs> She sounds like a lot of fun. I wanted to see her in her K-Fed days. <laughs> that would have been a fun time. Oh, you mean when she's on K-Fed? <laughs> oh, my God. You know, Shar Jackson's a friend. Yes. Of Britney or of you? Us. Of us. Oh. He's made a gown for Shar Jackson at the oh. Emmys years ago. Oh. Yeah, very sweet. Shar and K-Fed. She took him away from her. Yep. Yeah. Well, not that she, you know, she kind of tossed him anyway, but, yeah, you know. You know, but you she think lucked that, out. Do you think it was right no for them prize. to do this whole free Britney thing and get her off the conservatorship? And- um, I I agree that she needed to get off the conservatorship, but I didn't think that it was like a one day she's under conservatorship and next day she just has full autonomy over her life because she hasn't had any say in in anything. anything right. that that's like taking a teenager that's been on lockdown and then all of a sudden at 19 years old, you're throwing them to right. tell them. It's like how you've to... been in jail for 30 years and you come out to the real world. Exactly. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I would go crazy too. Like, yeah. you don't know what to do with all of that yeah. power. Yeah, I mean, exactly. no wonder she's and bang- money. No wonder I mean, she's, she's banging the, the so security guard or the housekeeper. Remember? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that the rumor that she yeah. Cheated on Sam cheated. with like one of the dudes in the house. Have you read the book oh, yet or yeah. not? Not yet, yeah. not yet. It's on my list. I don't read. Yeah. I, I, well, I, I, I have the audio book. Oh, he good. Can you share it with it. me? <laughs> <since you're laughs> yeah. so that I can I'll look. airdrop it to you <laughs> so that I can start listening to it. You can give me. You can just kind of highlight oh my all God. Here the, the chapters you need to listen to. Besides Brittany, what is the next big hot story? Do you think right now? Erica I mean, Jane. Erica Jane. Yeah. She's popping. She's this is her comeback. This is her redemption season. Isn't, isn't it amazing what she's, she is so yeah. come to herself and she's now unabashedly Erica Jane. She's not Erica Girardi Mm-mm. ever. Yeah. She, she's like, she's she never Erica Girardi that. though. Ever. Yeah. I mean, she's just Erica I like Jane Erica. When we day. saw her perform at the, at Kyle Richards white party. Oh yeah. Yeah. She killed it. Killed it. But Kyle you got amazing. to see her in Vegas. I got to see her in so Vegas. Tell us yes. About that. How was that? So fun. I was there opening weekend. I went Friday night and Saturday night. It was a blast. I mean, it was Vegas. So it was like blacked out the whole weekend. Yeah. But she can put on a show. Yeah. Well, we she had the hot dance. She was yeah, there. she yeah. was great at the white party. Um, but this was like a full on show with her dancers and you know, just so many different numbers. And she was singing, like actually singing, which I feel like people don't think she, I didn't realize she was going to do, you know, a full on dance girls number. Like she really, this is not Jessica Simpson's sister. No, this is Erica Jane. Erica Jane. (laughs) It's expensive to be me. Do you think it was worth it it to go? Because we're going to go, we're going, I think in next month when we go to BravoCon that weekend, I think we want to go and see her. Yeah, I That's think fun. it was worth it. Um, I know people are shading her. Yeah, why are they giving tickets away like for peanuts right well, now? Well, they're standing That's room. So it's standing room. That's what people confuse. You're not buying oh. a table for $7. You're getting standing room to hang out by the bar where they just want you to order drinks because the House of Blues is trying to make their money. Who wants yeah. to stand? 
Yeah. I don't. Oh. I mean, I would. I don't care. I don't know. It's fine. Well, I will say it's, this. It's not we a had big a, venue. No, no, no. It's not like there's no. 3,000 people in there. Exactly. Right. But so, I will say we did have a table. Um, well, of course, bougie bitch like you <laughs> would. <laughs> um, we had a table. And then I brought some boys with me. And of we were trying to do it. What um, happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> no, it ends up on undressed and falling for There we go. Um, but so then we were we did we wanted to get up and dance for some of it because obviously she's over there patting the oh. puss and doing the thing. And then yeah. the people at the table behind us were mad because I was oh, like, you're uh, blocking them. I was like, bitch, we're at a fucking concert. You're gonna get mad at me for standing up and dancing at the Erica Jane concert. Like right. you're like, pat your puss. Baby. Yeah, pat your puss. Somebody's got to pat your puss. Like yeah. if when we go, I feel like I would want to stand up and dance like you have to. At some point, yeah. some of the songs, you're of just like, course. yeah, it's expensive to be me. Well, yeah. when we were at the white party. I mean, the fact that when she got up there and all that smoke started and the guy started so diving good. and then she started singing, you can't help it. You're like, oh, my God, she gets you going. I was she so bummed does. because we were going to go to New York when she was in Chicago. Oh, yeah. When she was oh, and they yeah. canceled her I right know. before we could go. I was I so know. mad because I really down. wanted to. Because I think she's talented. She is yeah. talented. Totally. Ta I mean, you have to be talented to be with that old man for that long. Yeah, to pretend you enjoy giving him a blowjob. Speaking I of blowjobs, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like blowjobs. How are Sorry, you? Sorry, put that on my that doesn't like, like blowjobs. I told him I said, "What are I you like doing receiving blowjobs. I don't like giving oh, blowjobs." Oh, so you're a selfish, cunty bitch. Yes. <laughs> Which is why I'm single. I Which hate why you're single. performing blowjobs. Like I think it is just but why the do you biggest think it's a chore. Performance or a chore? Because it's a chore. Because you have to. I don't want to fuck up my jaw. Oh just my to, what, for what? To pleasure have... you? Like no, thank you. But yeah, but when you're married, them. yeah. But you know what? When you're oh married to somebody and you just worship that, you're just all about. My that. husband worships my dick. Thank That's you why much. I'm not married to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> There's no ring on it. Wait, you were with somebody though. No. Before, never. no. I thought you no. broke up with No, you've never been in a relationship. Nope. What? Nope. It's called swipe right, swipe left. Uh, you'll never No, I'm not even on dating apps. You're, You're not? not? Oh, I'm you not just get sex apps, in the no. alley. I get it. I no, I don't even have time to have sex with myself lately. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I was thinking about that this morning. I was like, when was the last time I even like masturbated? I don't Oh my god. to do that. I don't like to do that. That's boring. Well, you have a husband. You don't want to so date or get in a relationship? Or? <laughs> it's not that I don't. I've gone on a couple of dates recently. Okay. Some of them, well, they were pretty terrible, but like. What's how did terrible? You, how did you meet the person that you were Wait, um, what's a terrible date? Well. Like, what could have happened that yeah, was so I'm bad? Curious. The first one was bad because the guy just kept wanting to take selfies. And I'm like. What do you mean? I, this is on the first time you? I've ever met you. Like, why are we taking. Like, okay, fine. One selfie, fine. But like. Throughout the con the day, like it was just weird. I was like, okay, I and he felt all like the time, but I know he, the people. I don't. Yeah, like yeah, and it, it just felt very day. like clout chasey, and I was like, yeah. okay, I'm not interested in this. Um, yep. And then the other one was a setup from a friend, okay. but he was a DJ that lives in Venice, and I live in downtown. I'm like, I don't want to date a DJ that lives in Venice. That's not gonna Venice be and downtown is only it like 30, 40 minutes away. It's not too that far. far. Too far. What? Too far. Ooh, they have to be across the hall from you. Yeah. Oh my Wait, God. Do you drive or you Uber? <laughs> I Uber everywhere. You do. He yeah, and then drive. I can get drunk. He, he, he doesn't even have a driver's license. You don't have a license or a car? I don't. Wow. I just gave up. Once Uber How came around, I was like. How do you live in LA like, with no car though? That's. I live in downtown, so we walk everywhere, and yeah. it's in the middle of everything. That it's a twenty-minute Uber ride anywhere. Wow. So yeah, I don't. Know I have an Uber. Would. His name is Paul. Nah. <laughs> I'm the I drunk in like, the relationship. I don't like taking Ubers. I don't like taking taxis. He doesn't drink at all. Uh, I'm the only one that drinks. I like driving, parking my car, knowing who, what car I'm yeah. getting into, not having to wait. My car is at my front door with oh my anything God, I need in Uber. it. I don't he like the it. Even if I have to go down the street, I'm like, come pick me up. I don't want to get into some strange person's car. Oh, my God. No, he drive me, me ever. Let me pass out on the back seat. <laughs> oh, God. See, that's what I mean. What a different generation. You're 12. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm 30. Well, <laughs> you're at my 30th birthday. I know, I but you're, like, you're 12. That's a whole different generation. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. Wow. If you wanted to be in a relationship. Who would you want to be with? Like no one. <laughs> like I don't who's the person that you thought that? Who's your you know, celebrity like fuck crush? 
See, I'm not physical, and I know that that's weird. Like, what? I need to have like. Oh, you're so, a no, demi. How are you a gay no, man? It's and so you're not I know it's so weird because like even at the Erica Jane show, all of the friends that I brought to the show, they're like, were, "Did you not see how hot the guys were on stage?" Yeah, and I was like, "I was watching Erica." <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you could appreciate how beautiful they are, but it's not I mean, about you wanting to have sex with them because of the physicality. I wasn't even really paying attention to them, to be honest with what? you. I know it's weird. Really? So what do you, what, what, what what's your Yeah, what, type? what makes you excited then? Uh, my type is very basic, uh, like, doughy white boys. The more basic, white? yeah. What's a doughy? Like With a Jewish husband. boy? Like, I don't need you. Yeah, a Jewish like boy a fat is a Jewish cutie. Boy? Not a fat Jewish boy. <laughs> like, you know, you have to have, you know, have it to keep it together a little like you bit. You don't want six pack abs? No. Oh, God. I don't want really? six pack abs. I don't need, like, I don't want perfection because that's just going to make me insecure. But what if they have that and you're in love with them because they're brilliant, they're smart, they're He's ambitious, not in love they're passionate. I don't fall in love. <laughs> I don't fall in love. I'm in love with my life. I'm in love with, you When you're know. in love with yourself, you don't need to be in love there with someone else. There you go. <laughs> hold on. Let me hold up a mirror. Again. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh That's my God. type. <laughs> wow. You know, it's crazy. Because I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I like good sex. I love a yeah. good threesome every once in a while. Oh, like, God. you know, I love to have fun. I have some great sex tapes. But, like, you know, I just. <laughs> so when's your OnlyFans <laughs> coming out, Zach? Oh, my God. <laughs> That oh, Peter only you fan. really make only sex fan. tapes? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't keep them. I but thought like, that it's was still fun. 1975 Kim K. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> does that it, anymore. But you I don't wouldn't. let people take the sex tapes. No, I have to be in full control over. Okay. Oh, that's right. your problem. You are. Babe, control. have we ever? Made a, I love control over have everything. Have we ever made a sex tape? It's fun. Well, are the cameras inside your room in the house not on digital? <laughs> I mean, oh our house God. is wired digitally, so I Pretty don't much. know. I mean, I walk through the rooms and it goes oh click, click, God. click, click. Ah. I don't know. My ass is naked. I don't know. <laughs> Carcass out. Something. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't know. How do you talk about all the different things that are so pop culture every single day? And yeah. You think to yourself, what could be more crazy tomorrow. There's always something more crazy. I mean, did we ever think Scandival was going to happen? No. Did we ever think Kyle was going to be scissoring with a country music star? No. Oh, like, but did you think she was going to be doing it with like a pop star instead? Like, <laughs> probably. <laughs> like, I mean, come a on. Star? I she mean, goes to Aspen. She loves the cowboy hat. What's wrong with that? Scandival, I, mean, I guess, was one of the biggest things, yeah. I think, right, of this year. The yeah. biggest. Why was it a big thing? Yeah. Um, I, I still don't understand because doesn't everybody cheat on everybody? And you reported it like all the time. Yeah. You were on it so much. Uh, it made me a lot of money. Thank you, <laughs> Rachel, for spreading those legs, those Bambi legs. Um, why was it such a big deal? I think because one, you know, people were so invested in Tom and Ariana's relationship because they've been together for, for so, so long. long. And yeah. nobody would have speculated that he would have cheated on her. Like, it just... Nobody saw that coming. That but everybody was fucking everybody on the show. Yeah, but again, Not they Sheena. except for Sheena, she's the only one that hasn't fucked anybody on the show. I know Sheena <laughs> needs to get on it. Well, I mean, now she can't, but now she's happily married. Well, now she probably should. <laughs> now is the chance, because Sheena. Save the right. show, Sheena. Do you think Vanderpump Rules the next season is going to? No, come she back just strong? he just said save the show, Sheena. No, you don't think so. Um, I think when you're at such a high, it's yeah. hard to sustain that. And yeah. I think people's expectations are going to be really high that it is probably going to take a bit of a dip. And that's understandable. Um, because how Raquel do you feel? Why go back? She wanted more money. She, yeah. she's an idiot. Yeah. She, she should have went back. She should have went back. But that's don't you think that a lot of people are not really, they're going to lose interest if she's not on it because they want to see how this plays out. Like, it, you can't leave it, like, such a high like that and then just drop it. Well, I don't think she would have given us very much. I mean, come on. Look at the last season when she would, like, try to step to Katie and her little Bambi legs were yeah, shaking. Yeah. Like, she can't take the heat. Reality yeah. TV's not made for her. That's true. She's not made for reality TV. So I don't think she would have brought what people thought she was going to bring back to the show. What I mean, the only thing that would have been interesting is if she and Sandoval doubled down on their relationship and did full Spencer and Heidi villain Get couple ready, and just go came after into, everybody and came right? after. Yep, everybody. that's the only way that's it would have been interesting. That's what they should have done. Hundred percent. But she, yeah. 
No, she wanted to. I don't. Know. I think she's too stupid. I mean, as as I much as uh, she's nobody savvy. likes Sandoval, I think Sandoval's going to come out smelling like a rose. Like, did she? Yeah, even, he when is. She went on Bethany. Did she even make money going on Bethany? Show? No, Bethany made so much money. Yeah, <laughs> Bethany was her Scandoval 2.0. Tom taking advantage of her all over again. Yeah. She didn't get anything from Bethany. Right. She thought that she was going to be able to say, you know, screw you to Bravo by going and doing Bethany because Bethany's doing this big reality reckoning that yeah. is nothing. There's right. Literally nothing that's come. No, it's it, but for her to hear herself talk, it's not even productive <laughs> conversation. Um, so I think you know her reality reckoning didn't make the noise that I think Bethany thought it was going to make. It didn't make the noise that I think Rachel thought that it was going to make. Like Rachel was like, "I'm going to really stick it to the network. I'm going to take Bravo down because they didn't want to give me my money and they didn't put some respect on my coochie." And like right. you know, well, she's had everything else in the coochie. Yeah, I mean, really Schwartz, Sandy. All of them. <laughs> it was like the four or five freeway. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. I'm like, it was like there was a traffic jam. At one what, point. what do you think was the second biggest reality TV story of the year? Besides, Scandal was one, right? Scandal was definitely number one. Kyle and Mauricio, I think everyone's Is talking about right now. Yeah, yeah. Kyle what do you Mauricio. think about that? Um, I think that, I mean, who's who said? Somebody said. Was it Erica? Somebody said that, like, even if their relationship ends, right, even if it really is over because we yeah. know that they're separated and even if they aren't able to come back together, I still think that they were together for what? Ah! 27 Sorry. years. Paul sneezed. 27 uh, years. 27 years is successful yeah. in my mind. Sure. Even if it's not going to last forever, that is still what I would consider a successful relationship, a successful marriage. Yeah. And I think, but you know, they have a beautiful successful. They have children. Yeah. They have a, whole they have a beautiful life. family and life There's, that they've yeah. built. Then why and I don't see this as a failure. 27 years. I think Kyle's probably going through some metamorphosis, right? She, I think, realizes the girls are getting older and she's, you know, her identity as a mother is changing. Sure. I think she realizes her time on Beverly Hills isn't going to go another 10, 15 years. Like, she's, I think, at some point going to be done with the show. And she knows, like, the shows are going to evolve. That I don't think she wants to do it for another 10 years. You know, that I think she's ready to figure out what the next chapter of her life is going to be. Right. Mauricio's working, doing the agency. The girls are all moving over. They're mo transitioning to the buying, new, Beverly new Hills. buying Beverly Hills. Yeah, so I think she sees her life really changing. So then she decided to cut back on alcohol, you know, invest a little more into country music. And I think... <laughs> <laughs> Again, she's going through this whole identity crisis yeah. and she's trying to figure out who she is and what's, what's important to her moving forward. And Mauricio, I think, is happy in his life. He has a career. He's doing, you know, well for himself. Yeah. He's over there twirling on Dancing with the Stars, living his best life. So it's like, I think, you know, they're just trying to figure out who they are now and maybe they'll find a way to come back to each other. Maybe they won't. Either way, I don't think it's it's a, a failure. Do you no. think Housewives can last another 10 years? No. I mean, I'm sure th that's why I think they have to reboot, yeah. you know, a lot of the like ultimate girls trip, I think, is a really great new, fresh concept. That I like kind that. of are now they're doing more of like the winter house. And I think yeah, they're yeah. doing one that's like going to be like below deck style that I think that's smart to kind of keep mixing it up. And we'll see how the network continues to evolve with all of this. But I don't think Housewives is going to go for it. Would you years. do a franchise? Would you be on one of these shows? Which one would you do? A Vanderpump. You would. you would. Well, one, because it's based in L.A., and I know most of the, I know all the cast. Yeah. Like, those were the only ones that I have the most relationships with or the yeah. Vanderpump people that I think like Lala's that would be. Like, has been on your show several times, right? Lala, Sheena, yeah. Stassi, mm -hmm. you know, so I think Tom, the Toms. Yep. Um, I would love to get Sandoval back on the show yeah. now. Wow. That would really be. That would be interesting. An interesting yeah. reckoning. Because. Um, I don't know if he'd ever do it though, because he knows like I wouldn't give him a Howie Mandel fluff interview. Like I'm gonna ask that the was tough pretty questions. fluff, right? It was so, well. Howie had no same thing with Bethany. Like they had Howie didn't even no know about idea. the show. Why, if they've never watched the show, would they bring these people on and have them talk? It's simple. When they didn't know what to say to them. Money, ad rev. Yeah. They didn't care. All they wanted was the numbers, yeah, and they got course. it. But they also got the heat that came with it. Yeah. Warranted, but but does Howie Mandel need more money for ad rev? <laughs> so I think I, with his him, mom, I think it was more about the relevance. Used to shop up my store. Yeah, his mom really? was one of his clients. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. What do you think is your what's your favorite reality show? To watch. Counting like, out in Beverly Hills. Counting <laughs> out in Beverly Hills. Um, I'm really looking forward to Real Houses Beverly Hills. 
I think oh. we're, I think it's gonna. That's I one think of my it's faves. gonna be good, right? I think it's I gonna think be a good one. I'm really loving Southern Charm right now, though. I've never oh. watched that show. Okay, this is a good season <laughs> because it's another like scandal situation. It is. Yes, because there are these two couples and they just broke up and then. Now the they're da- yeah. Now th- now we're finding out that it's they hooked. Quadruple. And at first they're like, we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. And then we right. find out that they made out. And then we find out that they were having sleepovers, but they're just friends. Anytime anybody says we're just friends, you know, it's more than just so friends. They're, so they're doing. A, they're pulling a scandal. So that it's they can similar. get their ratings up? Is that the idea? Because they figured that's no, the way it's I think it's work. just another <laughs> cheating. I think, listen, oh people don't God. realize how often, especially in this world, I mean, it's not always like a Jada and Will where we're going to keep the swinging on the down low. You know, it's especially reality stars. They're all just going to bang each other, and it makes for great television. Yeah. Do you, if you could put one cast together mm. of a Housewives franchise, who, which six women would you put together? Ooh, like on an ideal Ultimate Girls trip? Yeah. Um, I would want to see Erica and Lisa. Or not even a girls trip. I think just like a regular like city show, like their daily lives of what they do. You know what I mean? Like maybe like six that you would like a reboot paired of, together. Yeah, and it doesn't six, matter where they're where you're from, putting them, what they're doing. Just the six together. Um. Oh. Okay. I mean, there's like the ones that I'm interested in, but then they're like the fun, scrappy ones, like Brandy okay. Glanville and Kim Richards. I love fucking Brandy Glanville. Oh, She's so good. Every Kim time. Richards, ruthless and toothless. I love her. <laughs> she is a good time. She's at, least, at least it's not homeless. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know. Remember you never know. We haven't seen her in a minute. Um, <laughs> might find her around downtown one of these days. Um, <laughs> So, uh, I mean, I just, I love the Beverly Hills. Like, like love Erica, love Lisa, love Brandy, love Kim. Um, do you think, it, do you think that Beverly Hills lost its luster when Lisa Vanderpump left? Um, like it lost the glitter and the glamour. Or Adrian you know, Malouf. Or Adrian Malouf. Because she was on it. Or Camille. Because they had the, because they were the, the real money. You know what I mean? Or Taylor. I think the first five seasons of Beverly Hills were the best. Ever, right? right? Because Ever. it was so raw. Like, Season one, Kim and, and Kyle. Season yeah. two, Taylor and all of that yeah. drama and Camille. Um, season yeah. three, we had Brandy and the drama with Adrian. Yeah. Season then four. And then you, but you in. always saw them like picked up in a rolls and they did private yep. jets and they did these lavish dinner parties. And, yep. you know, and you don't see that that much anymore. And I think that's what we, we loved about. No, Beverly now we Hill. see tax evasion <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> going to jail, going to jail. Pri- not even jail, prison. Prison. <laughs> Chrisleys are there. They're Chrisleys getting out. Oh my god. Well, they're not getting out. Not anytime soon. Yeah, no, I thought they were. Th- I no. thought they were like good. Things. They got no. They got like a year shaved off a of their time, time but they still off. got a lot of time. Oh, they left. still have to go do time. Yeah, they're, they're in, in there. Prison. They've been doing time. Well, and and oh Julie, god. she's pissed that there's no <laughs> AC in prison. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Isn't he getting a lot of you know what while he's in prison though? He seems happy. I know. He said he's never. It. They've never been happy in their marriage. Okay. <laughs> Todd Chris, gay, right? He's got to be gay. Yeah. There's no way he's straight in a million fucking years. He's not straight. No. No way. No. <laughs> well, he should have given up to that guy before that guy just sang like a canary. I think he did. Like, and then he pulled. And then I don't know what happened with that situation. Yeah. But I mean, there was clearly something going on between the two of them. And Todd's like, ew, no, I've never <laughs> done any of that with anyone, with any man. I know, mm-hmm. but it's it totally changed. Like, you know, Julie's put on a strap on. Oh, <gasps> I'm sure. I'm sure they'd be pegging. Yeah, of course. 100%. And 100%. He, and he's like, I'm having sex with the woman. It's not gay. <laughs> oh my god oh my god Zach, that would be lgbtq plus 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 i'm not sure <laughs> oh my god what's the what's the very first reality show that you remember that you watched Ooh, um i used to love like the old vh1 dating shows like flavor oh. of love oh. rock of love yeah we were on rock of love with sharon really on. yes, yes. <laughs> yeah Oh my gosh. With Sharon Osborne. We were on yeah. Rock of Love. Oh god. Season three? What season were we? I don't three, know. I, think. Yeah. I don't so know. So good. So uh, those were the glory days. Because yeah. those women had Well, did they gave not them so care. much alcohol. I don't think they expected they, all the shit that happened. Yeah, it just they went all in. Big time, right? And it was just it was messy, it was sloppy, <laughs> but it was so great. It's like vintage now. When you it is. It, right? it's like, 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 oh my God. Seeing that like on air Like when they're today. flipping a table crazy. or throwing alcohol across the. And the it was no filter yeah. at all. It was Hardcore just balls to the wall. Goes. Yep. That was good. They were Remember hard. the Osbournes? 
Yes. Remember when, did you ever watch the Anna Nicole show? Or yeah, no? I, yes, I did. So on E, right? We were, it was on yeah, e. we were yeah, on the Anna Nicole that was the show. First, so he yeah, was on all the seasons. The I was one. on season two? Yeah. Whatever. Um, season two, right? I don't know. Three, like two or three. Um, but those were, to me, the days of like perfect reality TV. Yeah. It wasn't a script. It Nobody knew what they were doing. Exactly. You were just living your reality. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like our show, Gowning Out in Beverly Hills, which we won Telly Awards. Oh, my God. Do you <laughs> Have you ever held a Telly? No. Feel how fucking heavy this Ooh, is. This we is won really four. Heavy. It's like real. I can melt it for cash. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, our show is totally unscripted. We yeah. don't even know what the ending of our show is going to be yeah. until we're in the edit bay yeah. and putting it all together. And that's the days, like Anna Nicole was like that, the yeah. Osbournes was like that real world was like that the beginning of big brother was like no script no like you know script supervised i love that yeah i love the the just what's the pure an, essence of it what's an interesting idea that you've come up with that you thought to yourself you know what this would make for a good show you talk about all these things because there's now house of villains right oh yeah so you're you do you like house of villains i do i do i was at the premiere party got to see a lot of them um i like house of villains because it's like they're just leaning into being bad. And yeah. it's like, now I feel like now going on reality television, everybody wants to be so curated and they want to make sure their image is good right. and, and they don't have a bad edit. And when you get some villains, like they don't give a shit. They're just like, let me be as bad as I can possibly be. But don't you think it's just basically Big Brother? Sort of. Yeah, it's kind of like Big Brother. I mean, Zach doesn't talk about anything other than scandal shit. <laughs> I he love a good not, scandal. He doesn't talk about, oh, well, they just <laughs> bought a new house. And, oh, it's gorgeous inside. It's like, oh, they're getting a fucking divorce. They're not going to make their payment. And their mortgage is out. And, mm. uh, you know, there's Speaking a, of. That's um, what you love. Yeah. What do you think is going to be Can the be. next big divorce? Dorit and PK. Oh, my God. I was just oh, going to say. I was that. I oh love Dorit, by the way. I, I was love just going to say. I do love Dorit. You really think it's Dorit and PK next? I well, love she's it. The only she's one my married. favorite British housewife. Mm. But they're doing a Is show she in English. British? She's, <laughs> she's from Connecticut. <laughs> but she has that accent every it now changes. and then, and it but, comes and goes. <laughs> but it's interesting that you said that because she's the only one married on the show. I know. Is she? Well, no. Well, technically, Kyle and Mauricio are still ma Crystal's married. Um, oh, yeah, Crystal's married. Crystal. And I mean, Erica's yeah, technically yeah. still legally married, too. Yeah. Oh, but I, I guess, think you're right. I, I think right. PK and, and, and Dorit for Housewives, I think. What about for Hollywood? Who's the next big divorce in Hollywood going to be? I mean, I'm hoping Jada and Will. Like, let the man go. Know, right? She keeps dragging him on. Why? I don't know. She pissed me off. Do you think Ben and J-Lo <laughs> are going to stay in it for the long haul or they're going to divorce? I think they'll divorce eventually. I do, too. Yeah. Why? I Only because you don't want to be in a relationship. Why are you projecting that to other people? Because I think those guys are meant for each other. They waited 20 years to suck each other's dick again. Because J-Lo chews men up and spits them out. But yeah. Ben Affleck <laughs> is not just that Yeah, person. he came chewed up. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't you see him fighting in the drive-thru the other day? <laughs> he did? What'd he do? Oh, where do I live? I'm missing there's, there's out There's a McDonald's drive-thru and they're fighting like Who crazy. fought? <laughs> Both of them. They yeah. didn't get ketchup? <laughs> no. Like you have to ask for she it. They're asked, fighting with each other. <laughs> she asked for honey mustard and he didn't get it. <laughs> She asked for the 12-piece chicken McNuggets, <laughs> and he brought her the 8-piece. And she's like, you think I need a diet? Oh, my God. Do you eat McDonald's? I don't remember the last time I've eaten McDonald's. We don't We don't eat junk food. We don't eat fast food. She likes remember. the chicken nuggets. She loves the chicken nuggets. But I love, but I'm going to tell you, if I was at the drive-thru at McDonald's, I would want every single sauce that they have <laughs> because I love licking it. Variety. <laughs> I don't want the chicken nugget because I know it's fake. But I like I the hot mustard. I, that, yeah. I like the hot mustard. I would love to just lick it. Yeah. You like well, yeah, you like blowjobs. Oh, my husband gives a great blowjob. Is that blow bad? Job. You should put hot mustard on Patrick's dick. I don't well, want to gain weight while I'm doing that. I'm doing that, that to yet. lose the weight. We have not tried that yet. <laughs> He'd be like, I'm burning up. <laughs> you could, you could just dip it into each <laughs> of the different minute. sauces. Is my dick gonna burn if we I'm do that? I'm totally gonna do that. Okay. We're asking the single man who's never been with oh, a relationship God. what we should do in our sex life. Is okay. that a bad? <laughs> Let me ask you something. What would you do next? Your podcast is a huge success. Yeah. You're living the life that you wanted to live. You're doing everything that you wanted to do in the capacity that is is been like you worked so hard for. Yeah. yeah. What's missing? Um, like, what would you? What? What? Like, what you're gonna you be shocked by the answer. What? What? 
I want to have a baby. You do? Oh, oh you yeah. want to be an Andy Cohen and have a I would totally baby. do it on my own, yeah. Oh, okay. 1,000%. I mean, who wants a baby daddy? You want a boy the or drama. a girl? A boy or a girl? Two boys. Oh, oh you, you even know okay. two boys. He's very mm. controlling. You talk about me being controlling the next time. You We've been the next time you say I'm controlling, I'm going to go Zach. What's your sign again? It's Gemini. That's right. We had this conversation. Well, there's a lot of him. So. Not just two of him. <laughs> <laughs> there's multiple <laughs> of each of him. <laughs> we, we talk about having a baby. Really? We do. Would that, you do I'll, it? And that's what I happens. Do we it. stay there. We talk. Why don't you want to have a I baby? I want to do it again. I can't do Our it again. Our daughter's 32. It's too much. She's a doctor. She's married. But I can't but do it again. You know. Like, it's too much. Like, I can barely keep up with my but own life But, babe, now you can do it. Sport. Well, we had a nanny anyway with our first child. But we could do a nanny again. No, I did all the <laughs> freaking work. I'm well, like, now you can have a nanny to, have, like, really We carry. had a nanny before. Well. Until I showed up and then said, yeah. uh, you got to go. Yeah. Well, now you need to let the nanny, get two nannies and let the nannies kind of really pick up the side. So do you think you'll have? Kids? Instagram content. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now I understand what your next move is. You don't want the baby oh for the God. baby. Oh, you the second the I got my puppies, they had an Instagram account. We were signing brand deals. I was like, if you're coming and living with me, you're paying your way. I fucking love Can that. Can we get some for Snow White? She's cute. Yes. I don't know why you do it. I know. I don't know. We, we don't, don't know, know who to, to reach that. out to. <laughs> We don't know how to do that. <laughs> Take my master class. Can you point us in the right direction? <laughs> your master class. Oh, my God. You don't do your own social media, though. I do. You of do. I do. How do you have fucking time to do your own social I media? I don't. <laughs> but I do On the way anyway. here into Uber. Oh that's why God. he doesn't drive. Oh, yeah. Really? Wow. No, I, that's why I like Uber and is it is multitasking. Okay. I can work. I can take a nap if I need to take a nap. I can do whatever I got to do. Just wake me up when is I get there. Is there anything you would change in the way you're doing your podcast now? Mm. If you could pick any way, make any change. What would but you've been do? doing it for eight years, nine yeah. years. Yeah. And it's constantly evolving. Um, no, I mean, right now we just started doing, you know, every day. And yep. that's an adventure in and of itself. So right now I'm like, I want to find a little balance and figure that out yeah. before I change anything up. Why again, would but you, I'm enjoying wait a minute. What changed between doing it once a week, twice a week to now every day? Um, like what? what cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. I mean, that and <laughs> it was just easier to like do a morning live stream. Yeah. Um, you know, my producer, Scott, was like, you know, he's like, have you considered doing daily? And I was like, I don't know. I'm open to it. And he's like, it's probably because I mean, there's always something going on in the news and people want the news right when now. it's happening. Correct. You know, so it's easy to just every morning be like, this is what's happening. Right. This is what's going on. Sometimes there's a slow news day, but then, you know, I can talk about my terrible dating life. But do you only do um, pop culture? That's it? Or do you do, uh, is it only reality or everything? Everything pop culture, mostly reality. Okay. Um, and I've mixed in a lot more of like my personal life and stuff, you okay. know, into the show, which people have really appreciated. So that's fun. What's your main niche? Like housewives? Bravo yeah, I think stuff, right now housewives? Bravo is kind of what yeah. I'm most known for. Yeah. Um, and housewives, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Would yeah. you do a house husband show? Or. Yes. Like, would I be on a show? Yeah. yeah. Would you do a reality show? I would, would, I would absolutely do a reality show. He would be the show. villain. I would be the villain. <laughs> he would be the I villain. I would be the, the villain. The cunty Zach would come out. <laughs> it would be real. I would flip a table. I would do it all. Are you going to stay But not on? because I would be perform Like, that's just naturally how yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah. Like, in Vegas, I had my moments. Are you going to stay blonde? For now. Yeah. I've been blonde for six years now. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it's his now, thing. It's kind of the brand. It changed my career, it believe did? it or not, because it made me more. Because So I used to do hosting at After Buzz, and I remember being at After Buzz. You did and, After Buzz too? Mm -hmm. What show did you do? Uh, a few, oh, my God. I did so many. I was only there for like a year and a half, but I did so many. I did the Vanderpump After Show. I did the oh. New York Housewives in New York After Show. Oh, wow. And I even did like some other wild ones like Gotham. Were and you doing it when, when it was in the garage in the no, Valley? No, no, no. That's I how did it when longer it was we were. I know. That's what, yeah. <laughs> Before podcasts existed, we were in the garage. I know. No, I did it back in 2018. Oh, wow. Um, 2017, 2018. Yeah. Um, did a bunch of shows. But it was funny because I would see some of the other hosts because everybody came there if you wanted to be an entertainment host that's kind of like where you thought Started, you were gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it would be yep. like a, a stepping stone and so and i noticed that there were so many other guys that looked like me and i was like how uh, do i differentiate uh, myself how do i make yeah. myself pop and look different um 
And I just, I kind of wanted to, Kim Kardashian had just done the Icy Blonde. I'm like, you know what? I like that vibe. Let me give it a try. And I did. And it changed everything. Really? Because it made me more recognizable. People like immediately knew the blonde hair. Yeah. And it was able to get worked into like the brand that it just. And blondes have more fun. Blondes have way more fun. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Do you think I should change it? What would you, what do you want to change it to? Go full Britney and shave it. Oh God! Oh, no. God no! He I just, just got new I just hair got in January. He got a transplant. <laughs> I just don't bu- even fucking I say just, shave it. We just got hair. It. Oh my God! <laughs> it will grow back probably, but I would not want to do take a long no. way to this. Oh my no. God! Mm. No. No, I always love blonde. Blondes have way more fun. I think so. I know the trend right now is for all the blondes to go brunette, and I've considered yeah. doing it, even if just temporarily. But it's like suits you. The blonde, yeah. I mean you. Well, I mean, I had there are fo- like people see photos of like when I had my dark hair. I just had dark hair for so long, and I just think it's not. I mean, it's classic, but it's not special, right? You know, it's yeah. not. You know that even you know when I have because occasionally I've let the the dark hair kind of grow out and keep the the blondes more yeah. in the tips. Yeah. Um, but and and people like the dark hair, and I'm like, it's nice for now because it's different. I go if I went fully dark in two weeks, you would be so bored with it because it's not anything. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's, but it's but basic. It really suits you. Thank you. I mean, it it fits what you do. It fits who you um, are. Yeah, it fits 100%. the life you I live. Agree. And it just it. I feel cuntier you. when I'm blonde. Who yeah. who is the worst guest you've ever had on your show? Oh, how did I know you were going to ask me this question? <laughs> um, worst guest I ever. I don't know. I've interviewed so many people over yeah. the past eight years. Um, well, worse because then they didn't want to tell you what you. Or it's the worst. So I mean, there are a lot of like uninteresting guests. Oh that I've God. Well, like who was like the the, me, the person that you didn't? They were just bitchy or they didn't. I don't know. Like they. You See, know. here's the thing. Even when they're bitchy or they try to come in tough, I always have a way of breaking them down. <laughs> really? Like I've had like sometimes like the male, like the straight men that have come on the show will come in like trying to have a big dick and they'll like try yep. to intimidate me because i'm younger smaller whatever yeah and i show them that my dick is bigger like and you, you never, just it's my show and i and you I never take do control. live guests it's always on virtual it's always on. no Zoom. sometimes we do live you do except for the i mean but not the bourbon rooms but do you like take your daily sometimes you we'll do. live stream we've okay. started doing a couple of like live stream guests okay which but it's always fun. live stream it's never pre-taped and then most of it, they used to always be pre-taped. Now we're starting to dabble more into the live streams because people like to dip into like the live chat and ask questions live as they're watching the interview That's stream online. But you want to have interesting guests that you yes. know can you need carry. to have somebody that can carry That's it. Otherwise, yeah. not like 100%. you know you can edit them out or certain verbiages and they don't have the energy to be able to have to come. Yeah, like I was worried. I just had on Captain Lee from Below Deck. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, and I was worried he was going to be a little bit of a snooze fest. And how was he? Uh, he was great because really? I got him to talk about card b and the wop song oh yeah and you know nice. i got him to talk about all the wop he sees on on the below deck yachts because yep. there's lots of water oh yeah runway rundown oh so runway rundown we like to call the good the bad the ugly in fashion and sometimes okay. the what the fuck were you wearing okay so we have picked up uh pulled a couple pictures they don't show me anything so i never know what um to i'm gonna get your opinion on them Let okay me put on my cheaters club glasses Ooh. oh my god i hope this i is- just got lasik so i don't have to wear glasses anymore i have lasik too He's 98. Fuck you, man. I had late. When did I have? I had. I had. Um. Not. I had cornea. What did I have? Cornea. Re- yeah, whole re- sculpture. Re- re- oh wow. Like, like 15 years ago, yeah. 2020 vision. But now the last like year, I've had to put glasses on. Mm. It's just to see like yeah. details. And yeah. But I think they're cute. Um. So let's do the first one. Okay. Um. Well, we know this person quite well. We do. You know this person. He's been on your show. Oh, okay. You want him on your show again. Oh. oh. Um, people say he has a voice. Oh. Okay. I don't know if he really has a voice, but he was pretty good on Mass Singer. Tom Sandoval. Oh, and God. I told our audience what he's wearing, Paul. He's wearing a... Uh, you tell him, Zach. I, <laughs> I think that it's an oversized, double-breasted... Um, it's a nautical look, but it's very unnautical. But I hate it. I don't like the pants. I think the jacket is not tailored. Maybe it's supposed to look that way, but he's got a good well, body. See, so. over, well, 
oversized blazers are in. The oversized pants, I'm not a fan of. No. I don't like the chunky white shoes that he's wearing. The blazer would be cute if it were a little more fitted. That's what I mean. It could be oversized, but fitted more. It feel like this is just like he pulled it out of some fat person's closet and put it on. It looks like Tom Girardi going to the courthouse. Uh, there you go. Oh. And Tom Girardi doesn't And you know what? Because it's courthouse. striped, it looks like they're going to jail. See, yeah. <laughs> See? The colors and everything, I think, really work. Like the white blazer with the, the but, pinstripes but and the black pants. But do you like pants. the Miami Vice t-shirt no. under a jacket? No. Like, nobody does that. No. You no, know, and the pants aren't can. It's so 80s. It, yeah. it does not, I mean, it doesn't characterize anything. And, no. and then, you know what? That's for the Special Forces uh, premiere. So Special Forces is all about, you know, combat. And he should have worn something se like a sexy, sexy. combat. Uh, show off his arms because yeah, he's exactly. been working out and a lot more. He's got more. a good body. Yeah, he's got a great body. Yeah, yeah. I agree. He should have shown off the body. Like That's why. Anyway, so who cares? <laughs> okay, this next one. I don't know. I love Erica Jane. I love the way she dresses. Mm -hmm. Paul, I don't know if I like or hate. Describe to our audience what it is. I love I, Erica Jane. I know, but I, I don't think know Erica about Jane outfit. takes risks. I think she looks beautiful. She doesn't give a shit. What is the outfit? Oh, I was there for that. What is I was that? there for that. It's this was the the, the bet it all on blonde um, announcement yeah. event. Okay. Um, I thought it looked great. When do you have time to go all these <laughs> events? <laughs> was that in Vegas? No, that was in L.A. Oh, in L.A. This is a it's mesh. sequins, right? No, it's a mesh. Oh, it's mesh. It's a metal okay. mesh. It's really beautiful. It's it's very artful. Yeah, It's very artful, yes. Yeah, I mean, I think the colors are great. You have the gold. You have the red. I mean, um, her long, body looks gold, so incredible. Like, yeah. yeah, her body looks incredible. She's so tiny. I know. Um, that I, I mean, think she I looks great here. That mesh and that shape to be able to draw that, that's a designer issue. But is she having fun and she feels confident and beautiful in it? Yes. And her, she was performing that night. Yeah, she was doing a little dance. Yeah. yeah. She looks like okay. she's having a black. And she looks so naturally just hot. Yes. She looks and so of course, fresh. she's not on Ozempic. I almost feel like the. I think she is on Ozempic, right? Oh, I said, of course oh. she's not. Of course she's not <laughs> is on Ozempic. Okay. Um, or, or, or a derivative of. You know what I love about Erica Jane? I love the fact that she is uh, fierce and she has reinvented herself. Time and time again. So many times. And she looks gorgeous. You know, when I had this, when I've had the store here for 30 years, she used to work around the corner here. And so when I used to go to a restaurant, I used to see her there. Yeah. Ah. I've been yeah. here that long. I'm, wow. She called me Tom Girardi. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't gay, he, she could have been my wife. Mm. I don't know. Okay, I've got another one, and I'm sorry. I know you guys like the, the Erica Jane one. Okay, I'll give you guys that one. I'm okay with that one. This is Jenna Lyons. Oh, I'm already bored. <laughs> I'm not. I hate her outfits. Every time I see what she wears, I don't understand what she's wearing. This is a big mismatch. Explain, Paul, what the hell it is. It's a bunch of flowers. I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I think she's trying to make a New York statement and pull things that she feels confident in to say, you know what, this is me. I don't mind wearing what I want to wear. But she looks hideous. <laughs> let's, let's and I Zach's don't mean, opinion. and what? I don't mean in a good way because I love the components. But if I was a designer, I'd say please take off my clothes because you're not doing it justice. But explain the, the flowers. It's it's broken. What is the flowers? It's no, they're three dimensional flowers that they've stitched together, and then she's wearing this uh, meshy underlay, and then these big baggy jeans that don't have any but definition she's not fat, in shape. Right? She's skinny. So no, I just, and tiny. then the glasses so I don't understand the pulled why she looks like back. 500 pounds in this. Oh, this is awful. This was at the <laughs> premiere, right? Yes. The, yeah, no. This was, I'm so tired of her thinking she's original for wearing jeans. Like, <laughs> they're fucking jeans. Like, come on. Well, well, we can get over it. Well, they're, jeans. Yeah, but they're vintage from, I don't know, Salvation Army kind. Because they're very I bad. think yeah. they were just picked up for $3. No, yeah, those are Salvation Army jeans. Yeah. Jenna, you need to call us. We'll put you in a Paula, too. Yeah, not, like this doesn't, for being so fashion, this to me. Yeah, it's not fashion. It's not fashion. It's uh, I think you she's know. trying to be fashion forward, but it's so fashion backwards, and it looks so bad on her. It's very, like, you know, in college trying to be a designer let me take some fat let me go to michael's risks. and take some fashion risks right you but know you for know my she's for too, my final she's too mature to be looking like this and i don't even and like the not pulling it no. together the way it's supposed to be her hair is yeah. not done her makeup's not on point is i can't ever? see her nails and how do you wear this to a premiere like if that's your premiere you know what i mean yeah do you like the new reboot 
No, why don't sure. you tell us the truth? Tell us sure. the truth. Come on, come on, Zach. I just tell think it's like opinion. it's not very exciting. It's like it's not. nothing. I mean, it's nothing compared to Roni. Like I to agree. call it Roni, it's not Roni. And the only reason people even tuned in for to it is because it was called Roni. Yeah. And people are like, let me see what the reboot is going to be. But it's like I I, keep, I always tell people, I'm like, you have to remember, like. Roni was not supposed to be a true representation of women in working women in New York. Right. Roni was about these kooky, wacky white ladies that had so much money and were trying to get their kids into private schools yep. and didn't live relatable lives. Like it yeah. wasn't we were we were meant to watch them and laugh at their lives and yeah. see the craziness and wackiness of what their lives were, not to be able to relate to them. Yeah. Now, I get it that if that's the direction that we're trying to take housewives in is to make them relatable. Sure. But then at the same time, it's, it's like we liked watching Housewives for the affluence, like we said with Beverly Hills, yes. the planes and the jewels and the jets and yep. all of that sort of stuff that it's like it was aspirational and it was outside of our lives. And it was to give us a peek at what these women's same thing with like OC behind the gates. What is yes. their life like? You know, like I loved Beverly Hills because to me, when I first started watching the first, like you said, the five first five seasons were the fucking best of Beverly. Yeah. I mean, when they had a party, it the was best. a party. Yeah. And it reminded me of when they had a dinner, sit down dinner. You, yeah, I, you can't help and but it wasn't to think a, that the queen was going to be. Yeah, and it wasn't yeah. like a full on like thirty people. It was ten friends coming over for a sit down dinner, and you've got a million dollar spread on the table, and, and yeah. it just I want to see yeah. that. Yeah, that's like what I like about Heather Dubrow. Heather Dubrow always goes big. And love it. So much money that she spends. I mean, we I know saw she, but she's see. not spending it because she wants everybody to see how much money she has. It's just who she is. That's her life. No, she's yeah, she's just spending because that's her life. And yeah, she can. we saw Heather last week at the uh, uh, equality family equality event. She was lovely. I yeah. everyone always saying she's so like this and that. No, whatever. she's beautiful. So I tried to bite Terry a couple times. <laughs> oh my god. But but if you think about how Adrian would put herself together and the diamonds yeah. that she show up oh, yeah. with, you aspired to go, oh my God. So when you're wearing jeans yeah. and you put on those diamonds and then you have your stiletto heels yeah. and you are an epitome of a very stately, rich woman, yeah. I can see that coming out of the closet. But then what she's wearing at a premiere yeah. in New York City, I feel like... It just doesn't uh, cut it. Well, it was also like that housewife on Salt Lake City last season. Remember, she had the gray hair that uh, she was rocking. And everyone's like, I love that she's embracing her gray hair. It's like, and no, guess what? Not why we guess what? In to she's watch not housewife. back this season. She didn't get invited back. No, and it was because right. of her gray hair, probably, but not... You That's know. not why we tune in to watch. What do you think no. about Jen Shaw? She's in jail. She's in jail. You think she's going to reinvent herself and probably listen yeah. that woman is savvy <laughs> you know she has no shame how in does, what she does. How does her husband work for a school district? And they and, live in the and, house and, they and lived they, in. <laughs> I mean, come on. She was taking Did all the money not from the pensions. wonder where is the money coming from? He didn't. He didn't, care. He, didn't he was probably helping her. In the her. dark? Well, because he had a legal background, yeah. and she would consult with him, which was revealed in the evidence that the, the government eventually ended up presenting, is that, you know, he. I think he knew a lot more than... You know, yeah. it wasn't like an Erica and Tom situation where Erica was the third trophy wife and Tom, you know, he wasn't right. coming home every night, cutting up the steak and being like, this is from the orphans and widows, babe. <laughs> like, come on. Like, he wasn't telling her anything. Whereas Jen and Coach, I think, you know, were very much more. They had more of an open it, yeah. dialogue. I always feel like these reality shows, especially the housewives, that if you have got skeletons in your closet, you better not fucking go on these shows because they are going to dig up those skeletons. Yeah, they will. Some they, people all think, of them. Some people think that they're going to go on there to promote or to be able to get exposure or feel good about themselves or yeah, something that they're missing in their life. But yeah. unfortunately, those well, people lose because yeah. you can't be there if you're not grounded. You well, can't. I mean, listen, like you said, everybody has skeletons in their closet. And I think one thing that Bethany said that was actually, you know, on the money mm -hmm. was that when people watch you on a reality show, they're there to root for you at your high, but then they're also going to be riding with you in your lows. You yeah. know, they want to see both and you have to be willing to take both. Take both. You're going to have the highs and you're going to have the lows and you just have to be willing to kind of ride those waves. Yeah. That's again, where I think like, you know, Raquel really screwed up is she could have had an opportunity to ride the low yep. and she could have come back. Kristen and Jax, 
and the, they were the big villains. They yes. went through a terrible couple of early seasons. They didn't want to show up at some of those reunions and get beaten up, but they did. And right. look, and now they're fine. Yeah. yeah. And now they have the Vanderpump spinoff, and they were able to come back. Stop. What do you think about the Vanderpump spinoff? Um, I mean, I'm interested in seeing what it is. I think, think Kristen it's and be Jack's as successful as Vanderpump Rules. Probably not. I I'm mean, going it's only to Jack's for a uh, drink. <laughs> I've been to Jack's. How's Have the you? new? How is it? I like it because to me, it's very like when you go to Pump or when you go to Tom Tom or yeah. even Schwartz and Sandy's. It's really pretentious. It's sure. really nice. Like it's an experience that you go to. Right. But Jack's is truly just like a sports bar. Really. Um, that I think. He's not trying to make it more than it needs to be. Right. He's like, it's a place that you come, you have a beer, you watch the game. Like, that's really all Are it's supposed to be. Are you trying to say that this experience wasn't <laughs> good enough for you in Beverly Hills, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of, we need to play a game. Oh, game time. We have a game. We have this or that. This okay. or that. Oh, We're gonna we let already you answered pick. this question. Okay. And, oh, this would be interesting. And why you pick the these is. questions oh, okay. or answers? Okay. You want to go first? R H O N Y or R H O B A? B H all the way. Why? I mean, I just I love. He connects. It's L A. I'm born and raised in L A. It's yeah, my town. You yeah. want those bitches to be hustling down the yeah. boulevard? That's right. And there's stiletto. Own it, baby. Yeah, I agree. Britney Spears or Demi Lovato? Ooh. Britney. Really? I'm a. I feel like Demi's a little obnoxious. <laughs> I like her music. Wasn't she just on? She was on Mass Singer. She was on yeah. Mass Singer. Yeah. yeah, I was surprised. Good for her for yeah. doing that show. Absolutely. So was Sandoval. Oh yeah. Carney Wilson yeah. was on. Carney was on it. Was oh, on yeah. it. Carney was yeah. on it too. No, I like Demi Lovato. I like her music. Okay. But Beautiful. Britney's an icon. You can't compare. Nene Leakes or Kim Zolciak. <laughs> Zolciak. Oh God, this is a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nene is an iconic housewife, and yes. you can't take that away from her. But Kim is just like the gift that keeps on giving lately because she's just like chaos, hot mess, train wreck that you can't look away from. And unfortunately, I feel like Nini was at such a high and she really tarnished her reputation. Why? I mean, now she's like she just comes off as like a disgruntled old employee that like wants to take down Bravo because, you know, they don't want to employ her her anymore. They won't. They won't. She burned that bridge. And now she tries to double down on that to like validate herself. And it's like, you were so like, you could have just gone out on a high and stayed out on that high, but you had to come back and try to burn it all because it didn't go the way that you wanted it to. And that's what a lot of these housewives suffer from is their ego gets too big and then they end up killing themselves. How does it, how does Kim Zolciak have no money after being all these spinoffs, all these shows for so long. Like, I don't get it. I don't get she why she's gambled selling it all everything. Away. I don't get it. She gambled it all away. How does she gamble? It's so crazy. She has a gambling addiction. She, she does. does. Word on the that. curb. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. She spent, they spend so much money. I think, you know, when you live beyond your means and you're not sustaining the money coming in, you okay. know. All right. Would you pick a up. rich man with a small dick or a poor man with a big dick? Either man. way, he's not going to suck it. <laughs> Either way, he's not going to suck it. This is an easy one. A rich man with a small dick. Oh, really? I don't like big, big dicks. Dick. He doesn't care. I oh. do. I have, a, I have a big dick, and it's a pretty dick, and I'm very happy with it, and I don't need anybody having anything bigger than me. Okay. You heard it here. <laughs> oh, my God. No filter. No filter. No, I don't like big dicks. Okay. But what's On a big other dick? people. I mean, what's a big dick, really? Anything above a six. Oh, Six. God, we're extra large here. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> I like a good pocket rocket. Oh God, a pocket rocket! <laughs> oh my God, God. yours. I babe. didn't know there were minimums and maximums. Oh here. my God, Jesus. yours, babe. Jesus. <clears throat> chocolate or vanilla? Please say chocolate. I do That's love chocolate. Me too. I love chocolate. Why I do I get chocolate. all the sex questions? Sex outdoors or sex in a closet? Oh, I didn't see that one. Who's having (laughs) sex in a closet? Why is anybody having sex in a closet? Oh, we've had sex in a closet. I mean, if you have like a walk-in closet. Well, we have a walk-in closet. (laughs) Well, when you're changing and all of a sudden things are flying all over the place and you get in the mood. I mean, if you're right before you don't have any time to get ready to be able to go to the event and you're like, oh my God, let's just go. Yeah, if there's there's enough space in the closet, that sounds like fun. Um, I've never... 
I don't think you're I've so ever... Erica Jane. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> she's your like she's like your alter ego. Oh <laughs> Is she? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Like you need everything in your boudoir to be perfect mm. before you can walk into it and then go. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Put it to the left, please. Now, like you know, it's just like, come on, get into it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yours, babe. <laughs> Wait, did you have sex in the closet? Would I or have I? Have you? Both. And would you? I don't think I've ever had sex in a closet. Um, it's like a nice bang, like just like <laughs> I mean, there's people outside maybe. Like imagine walking into a house. You're doing an open house. You walk in he's through the house. He's a real estate agent. No, I know. But Are you a real estate agent? He's no. looking at the house, so he's invited, and there's all oh. these people outside. It's a party, and then you're like, oh, in the like the thrill of being like, let's have yes! sex. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think that's kind of hot. I would do that. <laughs> okay. I would do that. But you wouldn't suck his dick. No. Do never? you know how much fun that would be? Like everybody's you outside. You won't ever like, suck anyone's dick. No, I have sucked yeah. dick, and but I. But if you're in a relationship, I have to be. Yeah, if I'm in a relationship, sure. I have to really be into you or really, really attracted to you. Mm. You know, that, that's not to say I don't ever suck dick. I do suck dick. Just not a lot. Just not. It's not mm. my. It's not the top of my list. It's not you know oh. a preference. I'd rather not have sex than just suck your dick. She <laughs> likes to be serviced, not service. That, that is true. <laughs> Go for your ball. Well, mountains or beaches? Mm, mountains. Really? Yeah. I would have thought that's why we connect. Boy. I like the mountains. Really? Because yeah. he's real. I love yeah. the beach. What's wrong with that? I don't like oh, the God. sand. He doesn't want to go to the sand and the beach the and the sun. I don't and like the sand. And get all wet. And oh, it's yeah. just like I, I I, love your the skin sand. gets a little moist. I love all of and it. And then you get all little. Uh, Sex like, on the sand is so fun. No, oh. it's so you get <laughs> sand everywhere. No, thank you. <laughs> Oh my God! Swipe no. left. You sound oh like no. my husband. Okay. Oh no. Last. Go it's ahead. Fun. It is fun, is it? It is. But but I'll have to tell you, everything has to be prepared, yeah. so that I like I have to so walk no onto crabs. the. Yes, I don't. I don't need to have like sand ever. No, no, not just like rolling the hay sort of a thing. No. Kyle Richards or Mauricio Umansky. <laughs> For what? Yeah. Which one would you pick? Sex. Well, I don't know, maybe. Friends. Both, maybe. Um, Kyle. <laughs> no, but I want Kyle when she's drinking. I don't want sober Kyle. Oh. She's more that fun. That just sounds boring. Drinking Kyle. Yeah. So. Give her some margaritas. Let her do the splits. I don't twirl think she's drinking at all. No, she's fully sober right now. Ugh. But I'm sober. You're always <sighs> fucking sober. What's wrong with that? I'm still a good time. Yeah, you're a good time. He is a good time. Uh, I mean, sober I'm still a drunk. good time. Yeah. I don't care. I have a great time. Great time drunk. I'm a good time. I don't so like it. I'm probably better <laughs> sober than I am drunk. <laughs> <laughs> You're fun, though. Oh I'm good God. with, like, a cocktail or two, but when I get a little too litty city, that's when I get feisty. <laughs> but you know something? When you're on... You're on. Yeah. yeah. You have a responsibility. Yeah. You're committed. And you want to make sure that either your guests, yeah. your performance, and everything that you're doing, you're doing top notch. So yes. that's important. So whether you're drinking or not, you know how to pace yourself to yeah. make sure. No, listen. You're not just going to get plastered. No, but even if I do get plastered, I'm still going to be up at 4 a.m. the next morning. I'm really? still going to take gonna the dogs out for a walk. I'm still going to be hitting my, my piece, hitting my mark when it's time for us what to roll. What time does your live stream every morning? 8.30. 8.30. Okay. So everybody. And it's for 30 minutes. 8.30 to 9. 30 to 45. Okay. Sometimes so everybody, hour, where rarely. do they go to be able to find you then? Yeah. Uh, no filter with Zach Peters, the name of the podcast yep. streams on YouTube streams on Spotify available to listen on all podcast platforms. I'm just playing Zach all over the internet. So and you can follow you, me you live you. Stream it? on YouTube. YouTube okay. is where it's live streamed okay. and then you can watch it on Spotify or you can listen on any podcast. You can platform. watch stuff on Spotify. Select podcasters are allowed to release video on Spotify. Oh, oh I didn't I'm know, one of the chosen ones. How do you see it? Like how in the app? So w when oh, you so play when you it, open yeah. It, oh, I didn't even know. Yeah. I thought it was just a picture. I, I want to be watched on Spotify. Maybe we are. We don't even fucking. You guys know. should do undress the OnlyFans. We should. Oh. I've been telling you we should open up an OnlyFans. <gasps> and you should do, do naked interviews with people. I love that. Oh my god, let's do that. Get them to get fully <laughs> undressed <laughs> and vulnerable, because that's when you're gonna get people at the real. Yes. Do we have to get on? You know that we got booked to do a TV show called Sex Box. 
when we were gonna have sex. Oh, I, I remember that. On stage. You were gonna do that? And he didn't want to do it. He made me turn it down. I was so mad. Like, That's so stupid. I'm I like, was why so I said, mad. Why do I need to torture myself? It's not. It's not important. It's not an experience. I mean, for it, me. it is very. I was so vulnerable. Mad. The money and was then good. When they came, and when they came to our house, they go, Jesus Christ, we have too many floors of house. <laughs> well, how are we gonna put this in a box? No, we were supposed to go on stage. No, we're yeah. not, you're not talking about the. Uh, you're talking about the other show. I'm I know the other box. show. Even no, we got picked show. for two shows. We got picked for a show on Bravo. Um, I can't remember what the name of the show was. Where they took. The show they was stripped. They, they took, took everything oh, out of your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standing there naked. Yeah. And then you I'm get like, one thing back every day. I'm like, why do I want to sleep on the floor? They came to our house, and we have a four-story Mediterranean house, like six thousand square feet. They're like, you have too much stuff. We can't put any I'm of like, this. How, you, how many U-Haul trucks does it take to hold this away? I said, and you're gonna bring it back. Like, yeah. like, you have too many floors. We can't do this. So we didn't do that. But but they still wanted to book us and put. I'm us like, in I have to sleep house. on my travertine mm -hmm. floors. Why? And he turned it down. He's like, no, we're not getting naked for strips. Then they approached us to do the show Sex Box. Yeah. And I said, let's do it. We're gonna have sex. We're not gonna have sex in front of anybody. You go into a stage. You go into a box. But I didn't need to talk. You have about sex, my sex in the life box, and you come out and you yeah. talk about it. Would they judge down. your sex? Yeah, and then they were gonna tell me what uh, oh we've been God. together for twenty years. But listen, our sex life's amazing. It is I'm amazing. But he did not yeah. want to do the show because we are not doing sex. I'm box. like that's just. I want to do sex. Box. Really? I wouldn't do sex. I thought box. it would have been fun. Right? No, I wouldn't do that. I thought it would been fun. I would do a lot of crazy shit, but I don't think I would have sex on television and then have people <laughs> judge my performance on sex. No, they don't like, see you having sex. Don't they? They watch you in no, the box. No, no, you just they, go in the box. Do you do you come the out box is after, in front of right audience. after having yeah. sex and you talk about your experience and all of that. And he is like, well, we're going to be in there for hours. We can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to want to come out. Then what, what the fuck? The audience is going to leave. All the people are going to go, what the hell's going the on? So tired. my husband made me turn the show down. Mm. Wait, but I like his idea. So we could get our guests to get naked. Yeah. Undressed. undressed. You really get undressed on OnlyFans. Oh, that's a good idea. You wanted to do OnlyFans. We could do undressed OnlyFans version. Take off your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with you. Take off your shirt. <laughs> Show me oh a toe. God. Show you, me a toe. Are you ready to have your Armenian coffee grinds read? I'm a little scared. It should be. Let me remind our uh, listeners that you can get your own Armenian coffee grinds reading by celebrity fashion designer and my husband, Paul Etu. Go to pauletu.com and you can book a virtual, you can book a live read, or you can book BravoCon read. Or we're also doing coffee read parties. Book us. Pauletu.com. Oh, I want to book you for a, car, a, a party. Yeah. And fun. you can and read, you read my everybody. boys. Yes. That would be so fun. Let's do it. I'd be like, no blowjob for you, no blowjob for you, no blowjob for you. A big blowjob for you. Are you ready to get your coffee going? Please? I'm ready. Okay, let me start by telling you that you drank from my side. Oh, I, okay. The, the cups are the podcast, right? Uh huh. So you drank from my side. And your home is your sanctuary. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if no one should be allowed to come in there, touch anything, look at anything, or do anything without your permission. Yeah. Is if that true? If they're allowed in, it's like you stay in your corner yeah. and you be don't move it. I'm looking at your reaction. That's Don't true. Move it. Yeah. He's got it. Because wow. it's like your entire, <laughs> it's like your spa, your safe haven. Wow. And everything you have that you put where you do is intentional. Yes. And I worked very hard to build what I have that yeah. nobody's going to come in and, and fuck it up. Right. Wow. You have worked very hard because you started with nothing. Yeah. And it's almost as if whatever has come your way, you, all the challenges that you've had, because I'm seeing all the challenges, yeah. you've pretty much said, it's a challenge. Let me see how I can manage this. Yeah. Oh, it's a challenge. They couldn't do it. So instead of running to the hills, you said, I'll run to it. Let me try it and see how it is. But you're the kind of person that from what it looks like, and I kind of know you enough to know. When there is a challenge, you try to find a solution. Yeah. You try to find a way to be able to make that challenge work for you instead of you having to be sucked into the challenge in a different way. Yeah. You wow. have in your home a really special piece, something that you've brought with you that gives you the sense of home, hmm. that makes it a sense of pride, and it's sentimental to something that you've been very close to that you s you've always said that's my goal this is my mark mm. this is the item that helps me get through the day what's that item 
I'm curious. I know what it is. What is it? I don't want to share it, though. Oh, share Cause it. it. Is, no, because it is really personal to me. And it's also kind of weird. But it's also, it's personal. It is. It's a very personal item that you have wow. put inside your home that, that helps you. So, you know, like most people, how do you create your home? How do yeah. you create your boundaries? Do you have... Uh, but you know what it is. I know what it is. Wow. As an example, you'll get married and you're like, oh, this is our home. This is our starter house. How do we turn it into a and home? And are you like, how the fuck did he know this? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's an item that I'm like, I probably shouldn't be keeping this, but for some reason I can't. He knows. I can't let it go. The coffee you grinds don't lie. You should never let this go. Oh. It identifies who you are, where you're from, and what your essence of who you are mm. could be even more profound. Oh. That's the reason why you can't let it go. Yeah. Because the wow. minute you let it go, you feel like your identity is going to be lost again, and then you'll have to figure That's it out. That's interesting, yeah. I told you it was good. <laughs> I've never been to your place either. No. No. You have no clue. No. <laughs> what the fuck? The, every one of these astounds me. I see an initial, but I'm afraid to say it because I don't want to say it yet. Say it. No. <laughs> Who's the letter S? S. S. This is the one person you've always connected with. The letter S. Oh. Why? <laughs> Why are you asking me, bitch? <laughs> well, what's so significant about the letter? It's in your cup. I think I might know. It's in your cup. And if it's in your cup, that means, and it's on your yeah which means you have a very deep um connection connection yeah but more than that you feel comfortable around this person yeah you feel like you could be yourself you don't have to put on the blonde yeah. zach you don't have to be like i was just having this conversation with that person this is crazy right who it's it's my best friend oh and but we've known each other since name? we were kids and his letters s no, it's actually a her. Her. Oh, her. And her name's oh. Sabrina. And oh my God. I we was just no having this conversation with her the other day where Wait. I told her, I was like, wow. I, the reason I love having you in my life is because I feel like you're the one person I don't have to perform for. I don't have to be on. There's no expectation with you. Yeah. You've seen me at my absolute worst, and she's been by my side through everything. And. Wow. Yeah. You Show him the letter. See? Yeah. Is that oh, crazy? Wow. <laughs> it blows me away every time. That's crazy. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> you drank that from that cup. I did. Wow. Nothing in there about blowjobs. Oh, I'm not. I'm not there yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see how clear it is? It is. Yeah. And the item is on this side, actually, right there. Oh. Okay. If I came to your place, uh -huh. <laughs> I bet you I can put this and spot it. Probably. Wow. Oh, I feel like I've, my job is done. <laughs> Need I say more? Need I say more? No. No, it's pretty cool. Pretty spot I on. I mean, the fact that this is such, and the way I'm describing it to you is exactly what it says. Yeah. And I don't know your friends. I don't know yeah. your world. So it's hard to be able to decipher some of these things because, I mean, we're not best friends. We don't yeah. talk to each other every day. We right. see each other out all no, the time. No, you have no idea. We're in the same industry, but there's no way you would, industry, know, you no you would know this stuff. I had no idea. Yeah. Wow. But it shows because it's important to you. Interesting. Yeah. Now, there's something else that you've been wanting to do. There's a project that you've been wanting to take on. Uh-huh. And this project has had many reiterations to itself. And you've thought to yourself, it's, it's a challenge. I could do it. Let's try it. Didn't yeah. really work out the way you wanted to. You didn't scrap it, but you kind of put it on the back burner. And you're like, yeah, I want to, you know, and every opportunity and every chance you get, you're able to kind of revitalize it sort of. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, well, let me do this with it. Or let me, you know, well, let, you know maybe this is the right opportunity. Or, you know, this is the right person. What's that? Because whatever this is, is going to give you 
such longevity in something that a lot of people probably either haven't caught up to, don't understand, or don't have the tenacity to be able to stay with. Yeah. What is that? Well, I'm hoping it comes to fruition, so I don't want to say it on air. Oh, <laughs> shit. But it is, I think, I think I'm pretty sure I know what it you is, though. You know what it is? Yeah. Well, I feel like I'm so no filter and I'm <laughs> keeping so many things close to the vault right now. Yeah, what happened to oh, no yeah, filter, Oh, yeah, because it's all about your ass right now. Because <laughs> I'm addressing you every You are. Way. And that's right here. See this right this here? This is insane. This right here. And those are all the re the iterations that you've gone through. But now wow. you're now you've gotten to a point where you're like, you know what? You feel more confident. Yeah. I feel like that. Not that you weren't confident before, but I think you feel more stable yeah. in a way that you're like, you know what? I think I'm going to have a go at this. And I, I, I'm just, I'm going to push it through. I, I'm going to see, yeah. I'm going to allow it to just aerate and make sure it comes true. Wow. Am I going to get married soon? <laughs> Well, I can tell you, I, I see something huge down there, but not like you're going to blow it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't see that. I'll yeah. tell you, I don't even see a relationship in here. Mm. Because I feel like you're, the relationship that you have is so close to... See, if I saw a relationship, it would be here. There's multiple mm. people, Kay. but there's not... Multiple people. One relationship. Three yeah. ways, four ways, five ways. <laughs> Love a good three and no, way, and four this way, is five not, way. And this is not me saying things that I know about you. Yeah. This is just really reading it for what it is. Yeah. That part of your life is on a horizontal. Yeah. When you're on a horizontal and you're not on a vertical, that means that you're stagnant in that. You're not, <coughs> you're not changing it. You're not looking for it. Sometimes you want that horizontal to go vertical because it's prosperity. It's yeah. trying to give you an opportunity. You're trying to curate a new path for yourself. But in this case, in this section, it's horizontal. And the interesting thing is, it's fine yeah. if that makes sense. Because your mission, I feel like, and from what I see is, this baby to see grow. Mm. Oh. I know you said you want to have a baby, but I don't see the baby in here. Yeah. But I see this. The project. To see really take shape to a point where you're like, you know what? Wow. This is something. Yeah. Does that it's make amazing. sense? What if that's the podcast? I mean, that's had so many iterations over the last eight years. It's changed. It's grown. It's evolved. It's a, it's, I mean, I thought it was a different project, a this newer project, is, but... This is in the same vein of what you do. Yeah. It's not like you're going to be an accountant tomorrow, even though you know how to do oh, one plus that one. That sounds so Fuck. fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> y you're not going to stop doing what you're doing and yeah. then change it. It's a different way of being able to do what you're doing, yeah. but doing it on a different scale of yeah. how you're doing it. And that. manipulating it in such an aspect that it's interesting. <coughs> yeah. And you have a little more levity to it instead of being stagnant because yeah. you're doing the same thing day in, day out. Now you're doing it five days. Yeah. That becomes not boring. Yeah. But it becomes monotonous. Yeah. And you really want like to heat things up a little bit. Yeah. I wow. think that's what it is. What is it? What are you telling me? Because I'm hoping it actually comes to <laughs> fruition soon. I'll tell you off air. Okay. okay. Good. Um, take your thumb. You're going to hold the cup. This is the last part. Yeah. You're going to take your thumb. Okay. You're going to poke on the bottom, twist, and pull out. But you're going to have to grab the cup. Okay. So take my thumb, poke into the bottom. And anyway. twist okay. anyway and pull out. Twist and pull out. And pull out. Yeah. Oh. It's crazy, right? It? It's so bizarre. You do want to be in a relationship, though. Ah, it shows it in the cup. Okay. <laughs> See, uh, I've just never done it. You I do. need the right person, Maybe though. Maybe that's what it is. You do want to be in a relationship, and I'll tell you one thing. What? You're going to be in a relationship. Oh. The relationship you're going to be in is with someone 
that you already know, you feel comfortable with, and he already knows who it is, and that you connect with. But for whatever reason, you haven't allowed yourself to to feel <laughs> that that person in that capacity oh for yourself. Do you understand what I'm trying to explain? Mm -hmm. It's like me f being so connected to him, but I'm like, you know what? I've got too many things to do. I'm not going to be in a relationship right now. So uh, you know what? I can't. Yeah. Because the minute you can, the minute you say, <laughs> I want to be in a relationship with you, you know that that person's there for you, waiting for you, available for you. Mm. And you feel that it's going to take away from what you are focused on and you don't want to stop. Wow. But this relationship down here has been meaningful to you for a while. For sure. Well, you're only 12, so and I mean, you know it's who it is. that long. I think you know who it is. Who is this? I person? see that grin. Look, his face is in there, too. That looks like a swamp creature. <laughs> 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 well, you did say you want dopey. What, what did you say? Fat Jewish boy. No, I did not say fat Jewish boy. <laughs> you said something. Else. I you said bad. doughy white boy is oh my, my type. That's the one. Oh my God. This has been. So you see his face? Amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the comments after people watch this is going to be interesting. Yes. Somebody in there. This is interesting. I may even tell you an initial, but I'm not going to. Oh. At all? The S came out. That's crazy. Trust, my friend. Trust. Huh. It's all there. Oh, take a picture. Oh, shit. Take okay. a picture. I'll have to. Okay, Zach, before <laughs> we go. <laughs> because he's going to be coming back with questions. I want to know. Oh, my God. Zach, before we go, tell our oh. audience is that unreal, where we can though? find you. Is that crazy unreal? It's crazy. It's crazy and real because it just comes out and that's how it is. Yeah. You've never had this done before. No. And you were nervous. That I you was nervous. And out. now I'm like, ah. Because but I'm is still it all nervous. True? I mean, crazy. it's, yeah. So tell our, our audience, where can we find you? Uh, all over the internet at Just Plain Zach. My podcast is No Fields with Zach Peter. Streams five days a week. Available on, on all podcasts. podcasts. You've been on my podcast. Yeah. Yes. And you've been to my live shows at the Bourbon Room. I'm doing yes. another one November 19th. Amazing. So Let if anyone's know. available. I want oh, to we're coming. Yes. Yay. And on that note, you've just been undressed. By Take Paul off your Patrick. shirt. I feel, you feel naked. I feel naked. I feel vulnerable right now. <laughs> this was awesome. I'm glad you Especially came. Especially after I guest. know your relationship and your best friend and everything else in your life. I know. And you didn't even have to share it. I know. And you want to take us off? All you undressed bitches out there. Stay tuned for another fun episode, fabulous episode of Undress with Paul, me, Patrick, him, and little Snow White who's still pooped today. She is exhausted. Bye, Undress bitches. Love you all. Thanks for the support. This podcast is brought to you by Herdat Media and American Media Television. Executive producers are Patrick Simpson, Pola Tu, and Pat Safford. Produced by Jordan Hill and Sarah Silicula. Shooting and editing by Jordan Hill. Music by Digital Camo. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Pola2, Patrick Simpson, and Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow at Pola2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210 and watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.